Today we are at the Pisgah National Forest in North Carolina. We will be camping for two days at Davidson River Campground, which is just mere miles from Looking Glass Falls, Moore Cove, and Sliding Rock. We're going to walk you through one of the easiest ways to book and ensure you have a good campsite at the Davidson River Campground, as well as other national parks and national forests around the country. Stay tuned for two full days of camping with Vamboozled. You know it's gonna get wild. So basically there's just a series of loops and they even gave us a map. They were so, so nice at the front and they we told them we are interested in the back loops because we've been here during the day before and so they highlighted some that were available for two days and it shows you where the bathrooms and showers are so yeah we're gonna go check it out i highly recommend downloading the recreation.gov app it is going to make your life so much easier when trying to book campsites you can also get permits really anything for national parks and what i love about this app is that you can just type in the park you're interested in this is davidson river in pisca national forest there's a map view and a list view with photos of each campsite within the campground it makes it so much easier to do your research ahead of time so you kind of know what you're getting into you can see photos of each individual campsite. Some of them have uh, electricity. Some of them are um, pull-throughs. Some of them uh, have different amenities. All of them have fire pits, benches, grill, and you can see which ones are closer to the entrance or closer towards a bathroom. Reservations are required March 23rd through November 15th. You can see availability and book your stay right here through the app because it's winter time we ended up booking on site we went up front to pay and we got firewood they also have ice up there and she said that you just take this little placard and flip it over to reserved and you're good to go everybody's really friendly everybody's waving they're super nice so yeah see it says reserved and you just put that back up here i can't do it with one hand but that's what you do Although I would say it's in poor taste to like flip it over to reserved until you go pay for it because someone else could be up there paying for it. Backed in, it's a really long driveway so you're further away from the road. And this is a huge campsite for $35. Here's the men's and then they have unisex showers. I'll show you those in a minute. I have to go do my thing. Nice bathroom, mirror, sink. Toilet paper, garbage can, it's really clean. I took care of business. Now let's go see what these showers are all about. Nice. So it's just one room. There's a little bench, there's a hook. This is a timer for the light. Or is it just a switch? It's not on a timer. Oh no, that's for the air vent. I don't know. All right, put your soap there. Now, how do I use this? Oh. It was not freezing. It was at a decent temperature, but I don't know if you can control the temperature on it. And basically it just stays on for like less than a minute at a time. This is one of the water stations. So you just fill up your container you're not really supposed to like clean stuff over here, so I guess don't do that. And now a very short walk back to our campsite. I see that Gunner's already been set up outside. He is very happy. He loves these trips. I'm really glad that even as a senior dog, we can give him these experiences because I think it keeps him young. I think it keeps him healthy. Let's do a little campsite tour now that we're all set up. We have our Eno hammock over here. This is a two person Eno hammock. These are really nice, they're worth it. I have seen some like knockoff or cheaper ones at Walmart. Honestly, I think they're all made the same, who knows? Um, I've never, I've had this for years. Like I've had this for seven years, eight years. I don't even know. And then these straps are whatever this brand is. I like them, whatever. They're cheaper than the Eno brand. They work the same way. Gunner has his little picnic blanket. We used to have a camping rug, but it got pretty wrecked. We had it for a while though. Uh, 
I have these little bug nuts on. The windows are down just to air out the van. We'll keep the windows up at night when we're sleeping though. Just crack them a little bit just so we don't get bears or raccoons or anything. Gunner's really been enjoying himself out here. Wild dog. Andrew's chilling. We got our chairs, our table. I'm gonna change in a little bit. We have our awning out. It was a little wet from all the condensation, so I'm glad we let it out to dry. And then I have some camping stakes with some cord, just in case there's a little gust of wind. We have our camp stove. This is basically all of our kitchen stuff. Picnic table, hatchet, propane, firewood, um, charcoal. This is a fire pit and a grill. And then I wasn't really sure what these were for the longest time, but apparently they're just lantern hooks. So I guess you could really use them to hang up anything, towels, whatever. Right down that way is the water, which I'll show you in a little bit. So yeah, this is our campsite and it was $35 a night. I am going to get out of my pajamas soon. We need to prep that chicken and I need to start making chicken salad croissants. I try to not be a busybody while I'm camping, but look, you have to set up camp and get everything nice and comfortable, then you can relax, okay? Davidson River Recreation Area offers camping and outdoor activities for the whole family. The campground boasts several loops of shaded campsites, as well as access to hiking trails, fishing spots, waterfalls, and several nearby attractions within the Pisgah National Forest. It lies just four miles west of the town of Brevard and less than an hour from the city of Asheville. The facility is open year round. Standard electric sites are $43 a night. Standard non-electric sites are $35 a night. And standard non-electric double sites are $70 a night. We will be getting an annual membership, which I believe is $80. And that gives you about 50% off on the campsites, not just here, but other national parks as well. I think we got a good camp spot. The fact that we are just like right through the bushes from here is pretty awesome. Definitely put your garbage away in these. They're like bear proof and raccoon proof. So you just push this lever and then it opens up. So I definitely would not recommend leaving a bag of garbage at your camp because it will be ransacked in the morning. We have our camp shower, which is just like a bag you fill up with water. And then we can just rinse stuff off right here. Just wash dishes. You basically pull this nozzle and then it comes out and then lock it back up. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing high tech, but very effective. Sun was in my eyes really bad just at this time of day. Andrew's like, don't block our view. And I'm like, there's a view that way, there's a view that way. Um, this is an extra curtain that I just had. I also have another one that's like cut in half for, I use these curtains for my sink and for the van back here. There's another van tour, ignore this. I had just done my hair. Um, but yeah, so I had some extras. These are just from Walmart. And then this is a bungee cord that's supposed to be a clothesline. These are awesome because it's just a bungee cord with a bunch of clips. And then you have these little things so you can like lock them into place so they don't slide around. And the sun is still perfectly in my eyes. That's cool. Gunner has not moved from the spot. The whole time he was like, we gotta go here and we gotta do this. And then at the very end, he realized, oh yeah, camping is just doing this. Relax, buddy, just relax. It's all good. Yeah, do what Gunner's doing. He knows how to camp. Start making the chicken salad croissants. Finally, these are basically gonna be lunch tomorrow. Good. Looks well, we'll, pretty good. We'll find out Looks pretty good. We cleaned that whole rotisserie, rotisserie. chicken. Boom. So a lot of the white meat in there. And then we got some of the skin and fat for Gunner. Normally we wouldn't feed him that, but it's a vacation and he's very upset because he wants it right now. I got the apple in there. I have to slice those and then I have to crush these up. If you want this recipe, um, it's on my Patreon. It's one of the and best if you, and I'm gonna be honest, if you put salad. raisins or grapes in there, there will be violence. Here Don't is. ever put raisins or grapes in my chicken salad croissants. Here it is in all of its glory. It's beautiful. These ones are ginormous. I normally make smaller ones, but they didn't have that size. Like, do not sleep on wintertime in North Carolina because there are some really gorgeous days and we just got really lucky with the weather for the next two days. It's like 
what, 60 degrees out? Yeah, probably like 60 degrees. 60 yeah. degrees. I think the low, the low is going to be like, what, probably in the 40s. No rain. It's gorgeous out, as you can see. So let's go on the little, it's not really a hiking trail. It's like a exercise trail. So we're going to go down that and go down to the bridge and check everything out. Oh my God, he's insane. Y'all ever seen Trailer Park Boys? That's how Andrew is with his cup in his hand. Come on, Gunner. I think this really does keep him young. The boys are back in town. Look at him, how majestic. Very pretty, what do you think, Gunner? He's smelling some. Here's the bridge. Yep. Oh, this is for the chapel. Yep. So this really isn't the front. This is like the halfway point. Mm -hmm. Look how happy both of them are. It just makes me happy that they're happy. Wow. Well, I think it's worth it. It's worth the $35. This is really pretty. It's just tucked away in here. Well, they serve communion. Sunday, sir. Oh, we missed it. It was 9.30. I would have gone, dude. I really would have gone. I think it would have been funny. Wait. Don't listen to Andrew. No. Oh no, he's peeing. That's why I love you guys. Him and Andrew. No, oh, no, you can y'all please behave? He You're literally just peed on the church. Oh my god. Uh, I was gonna tell you all the history of it, but Gunnar and Andrew just want to misbehave. This little church in the valley by the Wildwood was founded in 1860 by Reverend A. F. English, a Methodist circuit rider. The preacher's father-in-law, Strawbridge Young, gave land to for the church for a token of five dollars. There they are. They have a car. And I guess this is his family. Oh, it's a schoolhouse. I'm going to go this way. Bye, Andrew. <sighs> Never separate. A little ways past the church, it opens up to this very large field. And this is the dog walking area slash kind of a dog park it's not fenced in or anything but this is kind of the designated walk your dog area home again home again jiggity jog we made it all right we're gonna open everything back up and start the fire i put his little blanket on him and now he's just laying down for nap time are you tired now he's like i did a lot today all right, I'm gonna make you a really good dinner. I wanna see something cool. Wow. Magnetic lights, get them. We're gonna cook. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying this video, now would be a great time to comment, like, and subscribe. For more behind the scenes content, you can also subscribe to our Patreon. I will also have information on some of the cooking and camping gear we use linked in the description. Uh, dry rub on. Boom. Look at those bad they boys. They look really beautiful. Looks really good. Cheese pull. Mmm. <coughs> How is it? Oh, it's really good. Is it? It's really hot, but it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Chili lime, how is it? Really good. Mmm. Fire. Okay, it's hooked up. Let me get the remote, which is mounted here. <gasps> it works! The EcoFlow powers it! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? And it's only pulling 9 watts? 9 watts, that's it? Why don't I just plug my lights into the EcoFlow river? And so this is what my van looks like when we have shore power. We can like turn these lights on and I can run the AC. We don't need the AC because it's winter time. It's kind of nice. I'm glad you guys got to see it like this. Um, but honestly, living in this is cozy most of the time. It really is. It's been really nice to not have rent and to yeah. not have a mortgage and it's afforded us being able to do fun stuff like this and not financially stress out about it the internet connection is pretty much non-existent on regular cellular data so bring a book bring some board games or if you work remotely and have to stay tethered to the outside world you're gonna need to bring starlink and get a campsite with power i guess 
for us, it was really nice to disconnect. I just wish I would have gotten some books from the library. You'll see how we entertain ourselves later on in the evening. We let our food settle, we cleaned up, and we got ready for bed. Gunner should definitely become a camp post. I think he could stay out there for the rest of his life and be content. Ain't no youth group camp, right, babe? We're going to shower together. Yeah, we're about to get crazy for married couple showering together. But we're adults. Hey, buddy, let's go. We're adults. We're married. Oh my god. <laughs> it's nice and warm, well, but it's very loud and squeaky. We are cozy in our little van. All about the lounge wear these days. What do you got over there? I got three left. It's on you though, right now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for day two when we go hiking and check out more Cove.